My name is Stephanie and I'm Dr. Rutledge's medical student and I also had the MGV with Dr. Rutledge several months ago. Today I'm going to be talking about nutritional deficiency. Remember that Dr. Rutledge always says that he's going to make us more healthy and thinner, but he can never make us a normal patient. Uh, we will be at risk for having nutritional deficiency for the rest of our lives, um, but we can take several steps to get rid of this nutritional deficiency. When we have the surgery, Dr. Rutledge intentionally forms a nutritional deficiency by bypassing our uh, part of our small intestine. This is great in that it allows us to lose weight because we absorb less. However, we can also absorb less vitamins and less nutrients. So we may need to take several steps, like I said, to prevent this from happening. We are, are at a higher risk for several things because of our shorter bowel and these include anemia, osteoporosis, and vitamin deficiencies. The steps we must take to make sure that these don't happen is they're very, fairly simple. Take your whey protein, glutamine, and creatine. Take your vitamins and supplements. Get your yearly lab work done. And most importantly, eat a healthy diet. Because Dr. Rutledge bypassed the duodenum and part of the jejunum, uh, where the vitamins and minerals that we take in are absorbed, uh, we're at ri risk for vitamin deficiency. Anemia is caused by a deficiency in iron, vitamin B12, and folate. This is most commonly in women of childbearing age, however, it can be uh, caused in any person of any age. Your yearly lab work can detect this, and you may need to get additional iron or vitamin supplementation if you have this disease. Osteoporosis is also caused by a deficiency in calcium and vitamin D. This is most common in women of postmenopausal age, but again, it can be in any person of any age. This can also be detected by your yearly labs, but if you're at high risk for the disease, you may need to get a bone scan, take in additional calcium, vitamin D, and do weight-bearing exercise. The benefit of taking your Tums that you're supposed to be taking every day is that it also has calcium in it, so not only does it protect against um, ulcers, it also protect, protects against osteoporosis. The fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, E, and K, are mostly absorbed in the duodenum. So since we now don't have a duodenum, we often can become a deficient. These vitamins help in retinal function, uh, fighting off infection, blood clotting, and bone strength. So remember to take your vitamins and supplements, and these uh, vitamin levels can be increased, and you will be at less risk for having a deficiency. Finally, we can experience protein deficiency uh, due to our new tiny stomachs and our bypass. Unfortunately, our body is not uh, selective in what tissue it breaks down when it needs calories because we are taking in less calories and so in order to maintain our heart muscle and our skeletal muscles we need to take our protein glutamine and creatine and also do weight bearing exercise in doing these things we can keep up our muscle mass and the mass of our body that's important to us in order to prevent vitamin and protein deficiency uh, and all the comorbid conditions to, that go along with them, just remember the four simple things that I said before. Take your vitamins and supplements, your protein, glutamine, and creatine, do weight-bearing exercise, and most importantly, eat a healthy diet.